Hi guys, you're probably wondering why you haven't seen me for a while. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I put a video up. There's been a lot of things happening, a lot of exciting stuff. Um, I've just come back from Cessnock, which is where the Australian Air Venture 2018 was recently held. Got back Sunday, so I haven't really had time to edit. So there's a lot of things in the pipeline. Um, the Long Road South is about halfway through. We've still got a lot of episodes to finish with that one. We now have Air Venture 2018 in Australia to edit, and there's a lot of epic things. I shouldn't say epic, should I? There's too many uh, over usage of the word epic. But a lot of things happened along that trip. Um, we're currently down at the Scarness Foreshore in Harvey Bay and I just thought it'd be a nice place to bring you. Uh, another little point I could probably make at the moment is I'm using the Sony FDRX 3000 action camera to do my vlogs with a external microphone connected. You might know that the GoPro Hero 7 has just been released out onto the market. There's a lot of reviews out there. I've got one coming. Um, won't be using it for this, but for other things. Flying, probably. Um, but you could almost call this a review of the Sony versus the GoPro 7, which you, um, I won't be reviewing. Well, I might show you some stuff and talk about it later on, but you can compare this video with how good it might look. Optical stabilization and digital stabilization all rolled into one. This technology is about two years old. You probably don't care about that. I had some other things I wanted to tell you about anyway. Beautiful evening down here at the Scarness Jetty. Um, now, what was the other things? We've got the Long Road South, we've got the Air Venture video to come. We've got another video that I filmed a while ago called, um, don't know what the title will be yet, but it will be something along the lines of the trike, the advantages of microlites versus fixed wing, three axis. Um, why is the trike advantageous when it comes to, uh, you know, com to comparing it with three axis? Obviously open cockpits, not if it's wet and raining and cold. Um, a lot of people uh, say that one of the disadvantages with the microlite is um, they forgot to put doors and windows on it. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know I'm still here. We've got the next video will be coming out shortly. It's about um, the trip to Mount Beauty and we fly up to the second highest mountain in Australia, uh, Mount Bogong, uh, with Doug and his Sea Ray. And that is an absolute amazing place to go. If you've seen any of the photos on Facebook um, that I posted while we are away, um, another world. It looks like we're on some sort of Mount Everest expedition. So I'll get that edited as soon as I can. That'll be the next one out. And then we'll start the journey home to Queensland, which is about, about 600 nautical miles, 1,200 kilometers to 1,500 kilometers with all the diversions. So they're coming and uh, don't miss out on those. Now if you want to see what's going on and keep up to date, I've just added something actually onto Facebook. There's a link there now that you can actually see where Sparkles the trike is live. So you can track and it will keep the track I believe up to 24 hours. Um, when I'm flying you can follow along and see exactly where we are at the time live. It's a safety thing as well so that if you see that I've stopped somewhere or, or people that I've let know um, that I'm on some sort of flight and if they haven't seen me return they can see my last known position. It's a very good safety feature. And that's with a company here called Avplan which is one of the EFBs or electronic flight bags that we use for navigation. So. Um, that's a new thing I've just added to Facebook. You can follow me there on Facebook at Microlite Flights with Cranbox. Um, there's also a group there where you can interact and post your own photos and videos of your own flying experiences. And I've got Instagrams, which is Cranbox Flights. And that's where I'll normally post live updates and things that are going on as they happen when I'm out somewhere doing something. Um, just a photo or a video now and then as things happen. And that's normally updated live, of course, so you can see what's going on there. So join me there if you want to see updates. Have a look at the Microlite flights at Crayonbox on uh, Facebook for any news and updates. And then, of course, there's the website, www.av8it.com.au slash crayonbox. And that's on... Uh, just on the internet as you'd expect. There's a link below as well to all of these sites. So please connect, follow along and just to let you know as well a lot of people think that us YouTubers, if I want to call myself that, I don't know if I do yet. 
it's looking nice. Um, make a lot of money doing this. I make nothing. I just do it because I enjoy making videos. It is my profession, but this just gets me out of a hole and allows me to do some freelancey stuff for myself that others might enjoy to do with aviation and other things in the area. Um, and maybe some reviews on aircraft modifications, uh, repairs, um, equipment, stuff like that. Check out this cloud. Be cool. Anyway, I'll leave it there, sign off, catch up soon. Please contact me on Facebook or Instagram or wherever it is you want to do that and um, hope to see you somewhere around. I caught up with a couple of you at the uh, air show at uh, Cessna Air Venture Australia 2018. See the shirt? I have a shirt. I bought the shirt there last week. Um, yeah, I caught up with a couple of you there. Really good to catch up and uh, look forward to catching up with some of you in other places in the near future. All right, that's me. I'll get this video out to you soon and we'll... Um, See how we progress from there. Alright, catch you later. See ya.